I'm going to show you how you can meal prep without having to do any cooking. And on the menu today are these teriyaki rotisserie chicken bowls. Every so often I'll have a week where meal prep day rolls around and I would rather stare at a wall for three hours than spend any time cooking. This was one of those weeks. But because I pride myself on having discipline, the job still needs to get done. Before we get started doing any prepping, we need to head to the land of the five pound bucket of M&Ms, the home of the 4 dollars rotisserie chicken, Costco. You think I'm cooking meat today? Hell no. Give me that sweet lost leader of a bird. After Costco, I needed some pre-cooked rice because I'm not cooking that either. So off to HEB I went and all they had in the freezer was this horseshit brown rice, but whatever, it will do. This meal should only take you 20 minutes, give or take, to throw together. So get all of your ingredients out and get ready before you start. I guess if you want to count microwaving rice as cooking, then technically there is some cooking that needs to be done here, but take 20 ounces or 568 grams of frozen rice and cook it according to its packaging in the microwave. While that rice is cooking, you're going to prepare your slaw. Get out a large bowl and add to it 1 cup or 100 grams of matchstick carrots, and then add 12 ounces or 340 grams of shredded cabbage. The pre-chopped stuff in the bag is perfect for this recipe because it takes no prep work and it's thin cut pieces that will cook in the microwave upon reheating. To dress the slaw, you can add 2 tablespoons or 30 grams of rice vinegar, 1 tablespoon or 21 grams of honey, a small sprinkling of salt for flavor, and then 1 tablespoon or 15 grams of a crunchy chili garlic oil. The one that I'm using here is from Trader's Joe. You should be able to find a jar at your regular grocery store. It will probably be in the Asian food section. If you can't find any, just use a different kind of oil. Stir the ingredients together until they are well combined and taste test, then adjust for flavor as you see fit. For a pop of color in my final dish, I'm gonna use two small green onions that I cut into smaller pieces. This is up to you if you want to include it or not. Then while you have a knife and cutting board out, you're going to butcher the chicken. I like to piece it up into the legs, thighs, breasts, and wings, and then pick or cut all of the meat off of the bones. For this recipe, I have written it to include 1.5 pounds or 681 grams of the pulled meat, so a small to medium sized rotisserie chicken is best, otherwise you may have a lot left over. I ended up pulling 818 grams of meat off of this one. Once you've gotten all of your meat pulled and cut up, weigh out 1.5 pounds or 681 grams of it into a large bowl, and store the remainder in your fridge for whatever else you want to use it for. Next, add 1 4th of a cup or 60 grams of teriyaki sauce to that bowl and mix it into the chicken. Make this easy on yourself and just pick out one that looks good from the store. No need to make this yourself, we're going for speed here. Next up is the rice. Now I would usually just mix the rice with all of the vegetables because I'm going to stir it all together when I reheat the meal, but I kept it segmented here because it looks more visually appealing when it is separated and I needed that for the thumbnail. I've got to pay the bills somehow and Joshi needs some clicks. To the rice, add 1 tablespoon or 15 grams of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon or 15 grams of rice vinegar, and 1 tablespoon or 15 grams of the crunchy chili garlic oil. Stir everything together until it's well combined, taste it, and adjust any flavors as needed with salt or more soy sauce. Once you're happy with where the rice is at, everything is ready to be plated. This recipe makes 5 servings, so prepare 5 of your meal prep containers to be filled. Divide each of the ingredients evenly between the 5 containers. I think it's important to set realistic expectations for meal prepping. Not every week has to be some sort of elaborate plan where you prepare every single meal. In fact, I would never recommend doing that. You need room for some flexibility. Some weeks you just aren't going to want to do it. But with recipes like this that are low effort and only take 20 minutes to prepare, you can maintain discipline and stay on track with your goals. Each serving of these teriyaki rotisserie chicken bowls has 557 calories and around 38 grams of protein. The flavor to effort ratio of this meal is massive and I'm going to be enjoying it all week. Who doesn't love a good teriyaki chicken? You will probably be able to throw the lids on straight away since nothing here is hot, store these meals in the fridge for up to 5 days, and I wouldn't recommend freezing this one because of the slaw. To reheat, I'll pop the dish in the microwave for 1-2 to two minutes, then mix everything together and top it off with an additional 1 tablespoon or 15 grams of the teriyaki sauce to finish it off. If you're a college kid living in the dorms with no kitchen, this could be an option for if you wanted to meal prep. It can all be cooked and reheated in the microwave, so as long as you have some fridge space to store it, you should be golden. With how easy this dish is to make, keep it in the back of your mind for the next time you fancy a lazy Sunday but still want to get your meal prep done for the work week. The written recipe is linked down below in the description. See you guys next time. Goodbye.